Hi, I'm Lisa Colucci, one of the life coaches at Queen Being. I'm here to offer you support while you discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse and toxic relationships. I'm here with Misty today, who is one of Queen Being's life coaches, and she is our divorce life coach. And we have a special group that we're offering together, which is a trauma bond and divorce coaching. So you're getting two coaching groups in one when you sign up for this group. And we're going to talk to you a little bit about what that's about and how it can help you. And if that sounds good, hit subscribe and we'll get started. I know you all have seen Misty from Angie's videos and, and um, I'd like to welcome her here as our divorce life coach. Hi, Misty. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. One of the group coaching packages that we have to offer at Queen Being is a trauma bond group that is also a divorce coaching group. And there are a lot of reasons why this might help you when you're, when you're going through a divorce with a narcissist, there, there's a whole el emotional element that's going on that the trauma bond part can address. But then there are practical issues that you really need to get logical and get in your head and get, get very serious about in order to make sure you get the most out of the divorce and don't get taken advantage of by the narcissist. And I'm sure Misty can say more about that part because if that's where she comes in. <laughs> Even though my husband wasn't involved, there was a lot of nonsense that I had to put up with. Uh, when I was divorcing my husband, he was in default. So mm -hmm. he didn't have anything to do with the divorce, but that also meant that I didn't get his, financial disclosure, anything, you know, didn't know his money. I did know where he worked, but didn't think ahead. And I did not file the, um, the motion to compel discovery. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help you guys remember the things that you should fill out that you should. Okay. So your, your partner's in default. Let's go ahead and get this done now so that when you get to the end, it's already done. Right. And the judge has something to go on. So I'm just here to help make sure you get the, the right steps, get your timing right so that your paperwork is sent in and you're not in default. Right. There's a lot of complicated details that go into a divorce. And when you're overwhelmed by trauma bonded a trauma bonded brain or you're overwhelmed and your heart is hurting and you're and you're trying to do this on your own. Um, you can miss the details. And so the combination of having the support on my end, which is the support to help guide you through the trauma bonds in particular, and then to have the details and someone who's been through it with the know-how to help you make sure you don't miss any steps can bring two things together for you that could really potentially help you move through this divorce a lot smoother. Yes. Yes. I agree with that. I have all the uh, the blogs on Queen Being that okay. uh, pretty much step by step okay. tell you what's gonna you know what what they're gonna be looking at. With all the blogs that you that you're talking about, Misty, it, it seems like it is it could be really useful for people to have sort of a hand holding experience where someone walks them through just to double check, just to make sure that that they're on the right path and they're not missing anything. So this group will run for an hour a week through video chat and we'll have two coaches in the room with you. We'll start the sessions with a little bit about what's going on emotionally, what's going on, what you're going through and help you to find some ways to apply some self care and basically talk to where you're at personally so that you can get the support you need on that level. And then we'll spend the second half of the meeting going through the practical aspects of divorce with Misty and you can ask any questions that you have personally on your own personal case so that you can get some, get those details hammered out. And, and then when we meet the next week, you'll have had a week to put stuff together. And so that when you come back to Misty or myself, you have, you know, a week's worth of time to, to gather and then ask more questions about what's needed further. The other, the other, part of this group that's really great is that there's a messenger chat and when I do the messenger chat I check in a couple times a day 
minimally to see where people are and what's going on and if anyone has any questions and I try and give some some simple answers and help guide them along their journey through the week so that when we meet the next week they're not just they're not just jumping from week to week they actually have some continued support through the week and then Misty will be in there as well to help sort of fill in the gaps there on the on the divorce have to be getting a divorce you can be thinking about the divorce but at least you know what you're going to be looking forward to if exactly. it does happen to go to divorce right right preparing in that regards is really important that can be really helpful if you are in the planning stage there's so much emotion and so much doubt that we're filled with when we're going through a divorce and, and especially when we're divorcing a narcissist so much self-doubt and it, it can be really difficult to know you're doing the right thing and so the, pre the preparation and in preparing ahead of time you can lay out the pieces so that you know exactly what it is you're going to be stepping through and what you need to gather what kind of information you should be gathering now for any proof that you need of anything all kinds of information that I'm sure Misty has way more info on than I do in that regard. <laughs> yes, you'll want to get all kinds of stuff together, financial, retirement, depending on how long you've been married. Um, you want to know where they work and exactly what they make so that you can get compensated for child support or um, it, the when they determined my child support, it was determined on one of his jobs, not two, because I didn't have proof of the other one. Um, and it was determined, uh, spousal support wasn't into play because he made less than I did. So if I know he doesn't make less than I do, I know he makes more, but I needed that information to get what I deserve. Right. And if you had, had time, if you had had the time and someone coaching you to prepare it, you might have been able to gather that ahead of time. Right. I would have been able to file the motion to um, compel discovery and I would have had all of it. Right. Yeah. Because I had all the information in time. I just forgot that step. Right. And we have to remember we're dealing with manipulative and sneaky people. It's not, it's not a regular, a regular divorce, you know, that this is, um, dealing with people who are going to hide things and who are going to try and get their way no matter what. And um, so, yeah, I'm hoping that this gives you a little bit of information about what this group coaching is about. And we look forward to seeing you when we start the next group. Yes, we do. We'll be starting up in a few weeks here and we'll, we'll get the information out there when it starts. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Misty. You. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. And if there's any videos y'all would like to see, just give me an idea of what you want to see, what you have questions on, and I'll get a video out there for you guys, and you'll be able to check us out. Sounds good. Thanks, Misty. Thank you. For information, check the links below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.